group we dumped underground have returned. Those boys from the other day? <laughs> Come to get back at me, huh? I can't seize their desires. They're useless to me. But really, couldn't you handle something so simple on your own? Our deepest apologies. Ugh, you are all useless. Get it done, or I'm getting rid of you. Well, anything to say? We'll take care of it. Great, I can't wait. Hmm. <laughs> You're a real surprise, Joker. Now I'm starting to want you all to myself. at their numbers. Damn it, what is this? We can't reach the castle! No, well, we just finished up the searchlights, too. I guess we did wreak some real havoc here. Looks like we've finally gotten Alice's full attention. Oracle, any guidance for us? Ah, uh, this is a real toughie. I'm not seeing any alternate paths right now. Staying here will only get us surrounded. Joker, what's your call? No other choice. Let's get back to reality and figure out our next step there. It's grown quite late, hasn't it? Oh man, what are we gonna do? The wall ain't going anywhere. Wait. A more pressing issue's arisen. I'm quite famished. Wow, what an issue! Come on, dude, get real! Uh, on second thought, I'm famished too. <laughs> Let's get something to eat. We can't have any good ideas on empty stomachs. Hungry? I'll find a restaurant for you. No need, Sophia. Our target's already been decided. Sojiro's courier boss! I bet he'll hook all of you up too. Do you mean it? Uh, take it easy on boss, okay? He's already treated us plenty. Uh, I don't even care. What's that? A fight? All those stupid bastards making me look like crap. Oh, it's okay, sir. Hey, kids, get out of the way. Uh, just some plastered suit. Huh? Hey, what are these little shits doing out? Hey, you're a real fucker. How's about you and I go back to my place? <laughs> hey, cut it out! What was that, kid? Please, don't work him up any worse than he is already. What? He's the one who started it. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna teach you all some manners. If you don't walk away. Uh, all right, break it up. That's enough. What the hell is this? Hmm, how should I put it? I'm just a knight in shining armor. Uh, what? That's weird. Knight in shining armor, my ass. I'm gonna punch your lights out. Careful now! Ooh, you really ate it there. You okay? Um, you totally knocked him on his ass? Oh, come on, you totally saw it? That was legitimate self-defense. Hey, this is assault! You want me to call the police? I am the police. Now scram. What? A cop? Ah! I'm so sorry! No, wait, take this guy with you! Wow, not a great subordinate. <sighs> I guess this guy will come to eventually. <sighs> well, folks, you all right now? Don't worry about it. My job's to protect civilians. Don't get too chummy. 
This man is most likely with public security. Ooh, good guess. Although, it may be more like common knowledge, considering the number of tails on you. For example, you noticed the one over there yet? Dumbass, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Could you bring this drunk in for me? What? The hell is with this guy? The suspicion level's off the charts. What does someone from public security want with us? Oh, no need for that look. I actually do have a reason to be here. I need to speak with you. Let's say we grab some coffee over there. Their curry's pretty killer, too. Enjoy. Sorry about that. We just despise the police is all. It, it's kind of weird when you say it with a smile like that. So? Why'd you rescue us? We'd appreciate it if you'd get to the point. Fine, fine. I'll skip the runaround and just tell you. I'm Zenkichi Hasegawa, an investigator on loan to Tokyo's public security branch. I'm officially an inspector. It's not a rank to sneeze at. Inspectors are not to be sneezed at. Okay, I've got it. Uh, who said that? Uh, whatever. I need to ask you something. Did you hear at all about that mess on the chat show the other day? With Alice Hiragi? I can't believe you just told me that. You're sure you're on the same page as them? Well... There's already been a full investigation into the incident. There was no indication the MC was planning to propose. Everyone questioned said he didn't even know who Alice was before this week. Not only that, he'd already been engaged to his co-host for however long. There isn't a whiff of motive to be found. So, the police have concluded, doesn't this sound like the work of the Phantom Thieves? Wait, you're saying... A whole lot of similar cases last year, no? Sudden personality shifts, abnormal behavior, psychotic breakdowns. If that MC went bonkers from a change of heart, you're gonna be suspect number one. The leader of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. We don't know if it's drugs or hypnosis or what, but they want to charge you with criminal mischief. It's only a matter of time before you're arrested. But why? This is outrageous. What proof do you have? Sure it's outrageous. But we don't actually have any proof yet. That's why I'm here. So, level with me. Are you? Huh? Are you the one doing this? Hell no, dude! Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, <laughs> just a second. Uh, hello, Commissioner. Yes, I'm with the Phantom Thieves leader. I just asked for a confession, but he says he's innocent. Yes, that's right. <laughs> huh? Kidding? No, no, this is all real. That's enough nonsense? Oh, okay. I'm on my way to the office. <sighs> well, as you saw, I reported what you said to my boss. But if you ask me, hmm, I don't think she's convinced. Did he really call his boss? Holy shit! What is with this guy? What are you trying to prove here? No matter how hard you claim to be innocent, there are people out there chomping at the bit to arrest you. If that ever happens, you're done for. And I'll be up the river too, because then this case will never get solved. So I wanted to make you an offer. Or maybe more like a deal. A deal with you? I want to solve this case. To do that, I need the intel you've gathered. At the moment, I don't have anything that even resembles a lead. I'm totally at a loss. You, though, you just don't want to get arrested. I can do what needs to be done, so that won't happen. Your old men are a trustworthy lot in the force. There won't be any problems. Sound like a fair deal to you? <laughs> that makes two of us, huh? We don't have any reason why we should trust you. You know how they say the wise cat hides its claws? 
Let's just say that applies to me, too. I've literally never heard that. What do you think? You don't have to do anything until you decide whether you trust him or not. That sure is a noisy cat. Uh, <clears throat> meow! 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 Well, I don't need an answer right away. Get back to me once you think it over. I hope you'll see things my way, Phantom Thieves. All right, boss. Mm, be back soon for some curry. Sorry, the curry's 86th. For you. Oh, now that hurts. <laughs> what is with that guy? Ugh, he is absolutely ridiculous. He appears to have a great many bats in his belfry. Zenkichi Hasegawa? What a cool name for such a dweeb. But if he was telling the truth just now, they're gonna arrest him? Ah, oh, what a bullshit deal! I say it's more of a threat. Without a doubt, it still beats having him arrested. Walking into a trap isn't smart, but the intel might still pay off for us. Right. Now that we know the police are on the move, we've already benefited from that guy. But now, the big question... How much can we trust him? I'm right there with you. It'd just be too risky. So, fess up. What'd you do this time? Mm, nothing. No worries, Sojiro. This is about that Alice girl, right? You're suspected of causing that whole mess on TV somehow. Is that it? Ugh. But it's totally bull. We know Alice is the one doing it. We are sorry, boss. We really didn't want to bother you again. Well, you didn't do it, right? So keep your chin up. If it's totally bull, then it's up to you to prove it. Boss! Chief really nailed it there. If you need anything, just let me know. Aw, thank you, Sojiro. First things first, we take care of Alice. We can respond to the detective later. If Alice publicly admits to what she's been doing, it should clear our name anyway. Oh, right. Then we wouldn't even need to make a deal with him. Nevertheless, we've yet to find a way to get closer to Alice's castle. That wall really is our biggest problem. In trouble? I can help. We're trying to figure out a way past that damn wall. I'm sorry. I don't have a solution to that. How about hacking it, Futaba? Hmm, I could probably do something if it's linked directly to a terminal, but... A terminal? There is a control panel on the other side of the wall. What? Really? It was saved in my memory when we first confronted it. Therefore, really. Damn, I can't believe you remember that. What an eye, huh, guys? It's A-I. Who are you talking to? Have a friend on the phone? It's just your imagination, Sojiro. <laughs> it's almost like I've had my shop swiped from under my butt. That means you can lock up for me, right? I'm about to head out. And don't stay up too late, either. Got it? Roger. Well, don't overdo it. Now we have to figure out how we're going to get Futaba on the other side of the wall. Perhaps we could climb it with her? I don't think it's too high for us. There are too many searchlights in the area. We'd be quickly surrounded. We're going to need a decoy to put a dent in their defenses for us. One decoy? What do you think could actually pull that off? Who could be a decoy by themselves? Make a huge commotion to draw as much of the Shadow's attention as you can for us. This still sounds too dangerous, even for him. Shouldn't someone back him up? I can provide support. I will divide the enemy's attention between him and myself. This will lighten the burden placed upon you. No prob. Alright, we've got a plan. Now we just have to assign roles to the rest of the team. 
Okay. Let's get to work. Everyone remember their roles? You, me, and Ryuji are going to destroy the searchlights. No worries there. We'll mess them up quick. As Futaba hacks into the control panel, Haru, Makoto, and I shall protect her. We are not to let a single shadow past us. No worries there either. Okay, you guys are gonna be lifesavers. I swear I'll drop that wall, no matter what. My goal is to lure the initial wave of enemies elsewhere. After losing them elsewhere, I'll return to you. Thanks, Sophia. But don't be too reckless. Got it. I won't be too reckless. And the linchpin to this whole operation is... You're gonna be the star of this distraction. Make it as flashy as possible. Time to move out. We're carving a path all the way to Alice's castle. Got the plan down, Pat? Then let's go! Let's go. Almost time. Sweeping on the signal. No shadows in sight on our end. 
Looks like the diversion is working. I'll fix the joker. It's all up to you. I've got this. Mona, take over navigation for me. Gotcha. Good luck, Hack. Come, Kali, move! For two moves of Yoshin's life from Yoshin Sune! Stop. <laughs> 
Joker? I've returned from my diversion. The plan appears to have been a success. Hey, great hustle out there, Sophie. But now all we have to do is storm the castle. Yeah. Now the real fight begins. Let's knock off the rest of these shadows so we can get to 705. Look 
work. Let's get that one. Take this! Fire! Take 
around with us anymore we've gone quite a ways up already how much further to the top there should be a stairwell on the other side of that door you can do it sure go ahead go. of defying her majesty is your heads. Incoming! The exploring can wait until we know it's safe. Yes, Hurry, Wanna try out that party no. Give up already. I never miss my Huh. Not bad. Here, Here. It's in your hand. Leave it to me. It totally stole the show. There. Your turn. Yeah. Come on! 
Ugh, finally, it's over. Hell yeah! Let's keep on real- Ah, uh, what? Now this door won't open. But this door leads to the stairwell. Hmm. Maybe we should check outside. Could be worthwhile. Let's see where they take us. That treasure-like smell isn't far now. Let's get to the roof. <laughs> this is where the smell's coming from. Be ready for anything, guys. Is this some kind of birdcage? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Treasure? No, I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure. <sighs> Everyone, hide! Shadows ahead! What are they doing here? Have you brought all the desires? Yes, sir. This is all of them so far. Desires? More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, sir. Hey, those are... Those are desires. Yeah, they're the same as what we saw the other day. bringing desires here, right? So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. There's no question. That treasure-like shimmering up there? That's the desire. That is? We did hear Alice was collecting them. But if that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but... Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, the people may well return to normal. Yeah, that's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desire should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Are you okay? What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I... hearing something? Sophie, wait! You know? Totally. She's, She's such, such a, a loser. loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... The hell was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you alright? No problem here. However, I 
did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but... How is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but... Didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be! Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther... If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. Alright. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. What the what? How are there no results? Really? But isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits. Even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. The shit even you can't find, Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. <sighs> this is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. <sighs> but isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Maku-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not gonna fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of the table with her getting all, ANSWER ME! Ah, uh, okay. Alice Aragi's school. It's... it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm PubSec, not just some cop detect. Wait, I'm not shady. Am I? Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Shiragi went to school, right? But you can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Shiragi. Especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I've swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? Nah, no, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep. Just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great! Happy to help. But wait, come on now! This is a real deal connection here! Just be grateful and take the intel. 
We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no. Everyone's senpai but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go... And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Got it. That settled. Let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy.